Hey guys, how are you doing? Well, today, 200mm F2 VR, the latest version, right here, this beast, versus 7200 2.8, again, the latest version is going down. During this comparison, I'm going to use the camera, as the camera, I'm going to use the Nikon D4S. So both cameras are going to be attached to this. I'm going to be exactly in the same position. So it will be shot from the same angle, the same subject with the same camera, same settings. So this is going to be the real comparison in between the two, focusing on the blurring capability, the speed. And as a bonus, I have the 1.7 teleconverter from Nikon again and I'm going to attach this to both lenses and we will see their uh, reaction to the teleconverter and we will see how they perform. Alright folks, here we are going to compare the images that are shot with both lenses. Before Rosa, our model, showed up, I asked someone to take a picture of mine in a busy background in order to uh, find out how the lenses are going to behave. So this is the first image, that's the second image. Right. When I zoom in, you will immediately realize um, which lens was which. So I'm just going to zoom in this bike here on the left. As you can see, the bike on the left is more defined in comparison to the one on the right. This bike is more melted away. And here, if you realize there is another bicycle, there's the tire of another bike. So I'll just going, I'm just going to zoom in. As you can see in here, the tire is um, the same tire in here is more melted. So the image on the right was made with 200mm F2 VR. Let me just move on to the next image. Well, here I'd like to show you the depth of field. On the left, as you can see, where she was standing, there's the stripes. And when you look, they are all blurred away. However, on the right, you can see more stripes and you can see more depth of field. This means the image on the right, obviously, is 70 to 200. <coughs> Sorry. The one on the left is 200 millimeters F2 VR. So I'll just zoom out. Oops, that was too much. Uh, I'll just quit. Okay. And if you look at the wall right behind her, you can see that the wall on the left is more melted. I'm just going to jump onto the next um, two images. Here we are. Let me just zoom in her. A 
And I'm just going to show you one thing in here. Do you realize, although she's standing in the same position, and I am at, my, at the same position, do you realize that her boots are bigger in comparison to the image on the right? That's because 200 millimeters f2 VR is a true 200 millimeters focal length. However, 70 to 200 is not a true 200 millimeters. Um, it's something like 185, 190, something like this. So there's like 10 to 15 millimeters difference in between the two. That was also surprising to find out. Um, as you can see, the background is more blurred. Uh, the image on the left belongs to the 200 millimeters f2 and the image on the right belongs to 70 to 200. Let me just zoom in, in here to show you. Here on the right the image which is made with 70 to 200 I can draw a perfect triangle in here versus in here uh, it's much more melted in comparison. Right here are the two other images. When I zoom in the image you see the windows in here the window on the left is more defined the window on the right is more melted so the image on the right belongs to 200 millimeters f2 vr versus 70 to 200 on the left and folks let me show you the sharpness in here um, i shot this picture indoors and i used a speed light so I could see the sharpness better. I could show you the sharpness better. So, then you look at the image on the left versus the image on the right. Well, to find out which lens is which, I don't even need to look at the image data. I'm just going to zoom in. The mouse is more blurred, so this means the one on the left is 200 millimeters f2 vr. So. 200 millimeters here, sorry, 200 millimeters here, 70 to 200 in here. And folks, here's the bonus. I attached a 1.7 teleconverter with the speed light and indoors, the very same setup. Well, 70 to 200 becomes F3.3 when 1.7 is attached the one on the right becomes 4.8 so obviously the one on the left is 200 millimeters f2 vr versus 70 to 200 on the right as you can see um, clearly in here when the teleconverter is attached the 200 millimeters f2 is much sharper in comparison significantly sharper I zoom out and here is the background blur in between the two again 70 to 200 is blurring less in comparison let me just show you the sharpness again one more time I'm just going to move slowly All right. When you look at the images in small sizes, and for many people, maybe this will not make a difference. However, when you print them large, you will see the difference. And for some of us, this is important, not only because it blurs more, because 200 millimeters F2 gives you two times more shutter speed. So when it comes to autofocus, I need to say 70 to 200 has a very, a very good, very fast autofocus. However, 200 millimeters f2 is a little faster, especially when you put the teleconverters on, you can see the difference. Um, I'm almost sure that you would like to all see the, you know, images. You want to download them and you want to zoom them and you want to compare them on your own. So guys, I have this new website, uh, which is called Big Lens Adventures. So just go to my website, just type in biglensadventures.com and over there on the left, um, just click on the blog and you will see my first blog post. 
is going to be about 7 to the 200 versus 200 millimeters f to the r and i have added the pictures so that you can compare them in full size in your computer all you need to do is just scroll down uh, whatever image uh, you want to download you just uh, right click and save it to your computer so write down your comments um, down below and don't forget to be a subscriber for my blog in the biglensadventures.com website if you're still not a subscriber to my youtube channel please subscribe so i'll see you around Thank you.